My people, the truth can never be hidden for so long. Now Wumi has been exposed how she hit Mobad on his head. That is what led to Mobad's spy. Guys, I would like you to listen to this audio. But before I play the audio, if you are just missing my channel for the very first time, very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I upload any latest video. Let's go, guys. Papa Mobad made us to understand. I equally played the video where he made mention of the fact that um, that uh, he couldn't reach out to me yesterday, that he was sorry about it, that he is going to reach out to me today after the corona inquest. I've played the video for them to listen to. But he made us to understand right now that the DNA uh, issue, the date has been postponed to on the 8th, 8th of uh, October and that um will me equally retreat through the lawyer that she is not willing to do the dna and he, she was asked what is the reason and she said because papa mobad has been narrating the issue of the dna on social media okay though that's not a cogent reason and that uh, will said and the lawyer said they don't have the right to ask their clients for the DNA. When the time comes, we will know what is up. And another thing, the father equally made mention of the present situation of the corona inquest. He said he's not happy about what is going on because there was nothing. They did nothing at the corona inquest today. There was nobody to ask questions because no, there was nobody in the court because the likes of Samlari, Naramali, uh, and then the nurse, they were not in the court because those were the people that they actually wanted them to, to be questioned regarding how Mobad passed on, mostly the nurse. They said at the corona inquest today, they made preparation on how they are going to reach out to those people that Papa, Papa Mobad wants them to come and say their own side of the story regarding how Mubad passed on. So they've been able to arrange that through the courts to reach out to the people that uh, Papa Mubad wants them to come and talk and that uh, they, will, they will equally come back to the Corona inquest on the 16th. Once they come to the Corona inquest, the reason for them coming earlier than the normal day that they are supposed to talk about Mobad's case, which is on the 20, uh, 22nd, they, but they need to come before then on the 16th so that they will make sure that they have actually reached out to those people that they need to reach out to. Right now, they, they are only trying to make sure that um, we die down the, this matter, that we are tired of this matter and we are not going to be tired. And the truth is this, if the government can be acting this funny because they don't want us to find out what happened to Mubad, I really do not understand how they find peace within themselves. They can sleep very well without thinking of the pain, you know, the pain that they are giving to Daddy Mubad. They are not bothered. Is that what it means that they are not bothered it doesn't consign them because mobad is not their child is not related to them provided he's not none of their relatives so whatever goes on is none of their business but they have forgotten that the lord god almighty who sits on the throne and sees to the affairs of men has a way of doing his own thing if they feel that uh, they want to, you know, make sure we get tired about justice from Mobad by trying to postpone the case, you know, take it to um, a case that's meant to be done like every twice a month, twice a month or three times a month. They will not extend it for two months or three months. It doesn't make sense to anyone. And the truth is people are ready 
to make sure that this justice for Mobad we get it. We are no longer bothered. No matter what they want to do, we are game for it. Two can play the games. We can equally see for a fact that the government have made a neat wit of themselves. They've, they've made a fool of themselves by coming out, by bringing, bringing a result. And the toxicology result that the pathologist came to read out to, to us, it was a fake result. Which, which body did they get that sample from? Why? And we equally made it known to them that they have lied. They have not refused, refuted what we have said. This is wickedness in the highest order. You cannot keep treating human beings as if they don't matter. It is wrong. For Christ's sake, that because you are in power today, it doesn't mean that you should make everybody under you look stupid. It, oh my goodness. Until somebody uses his or one of the, their family life to pay for the case of Bobad, they will not they will not they will, they will not start doing the right thing. Something must happen that will make people understand that Mobad's case is a different thing. Mobad's case is a different thing. Just imagine someone that has passed on. The ninth day of day of, of each, he was assumed. How many people they don't run for? More past image was on the billboard in Times Square, New York. How many Nigerians? They are billboard there for New York Times. How many of them? The whole world saw him. How many people, when they don't buy, they become billionaire in their graves? I want people to tell me how many who don't die when they don't become billionaire in grave. We know that we, there are men that are billionaires, but how many people don't buy? They can't become billionaire when they buy. The only offense more bad committed was to marry a woman who never loved him. The only offense he committed was to trust somebody who he should not have trusted. Was to love. At the end of the day, the same woman took it upon herself to tell, tell him, I will frustrate your life. I will make your life miserable. Have you not heard of the situation of a guy they call Lifros, an artist? Have you not heard? Did you not see how the girlfriend frustrated his life and made him nobody? I will equally do the same to you. A woman boasted and told his husband, not be boyfriend and girlfriend for street too. Let's even assume the child is Moba's own. You are telling the man that you have a baby for that you frustrate his life. You will bring him down just the way somebody brought down another artist and you are proud to say that. Instead of you to be praying for your husband, you are laying abuses and insult on him. And you expect Nigerians to be happy with you? Shame on those Nigerians who feel that what W has actually done to the husband is good. You were with the you, you were you are you, you the person that was with your husband. Immediately he passed on. Two three days. You were with him. You cannot tell the father of Mobad what happened to his son. You cannot say what happened to his son. To show how wicked you are, to show how bad you are, up to the extent you connived with your own sister Karimu. You made sure somebody disguised as you.
to go to candlelight to represent you in your husband's candlelight. You have that mind to make somebody to represent you. And your sister too, took your hand, raised your hand up. And you, your face was down. We didn't know that you were trying to prevent people from actually seeing your face. So that people will not know it, it wasn't you. But you know, Nigerians, you know, social media users, they know, they, they too know over Sabi, now they worry them. They already saw the futures. They saw your shape. They saw the size. They said, mm -mm, this girl cannot be Wumi. This girl cannot be Wumi. Even your group, your gang, they know for a fact that that wasn't Wumi, but they were still saying you were the one. When you arranged with Karimu to dress up your auntie as if you were the one, and she came to the candlelight. At the end of the day, why didn't you come? Because of the bruises on your face, because of the woto woto. You are more bad hard in the house. There was actually a fight in the house. And you did hit Mobad on the head. According to I'm not, I've said it before, I'm still going to say Spanish told us. You did hit Mobad, you screamed, and you ran downstairs. The remaining people in the, uh, on the ground floor, they ran upstairs to go see Mobad. They were trying to resuscitate him. I said it, I said it. Because that was what who spending said to us. That's what he told us. And up to now, they don't even know what you use in hitting Mobad. They cannot ascertain what you used on Mobad. You used something on Mobad. What did you use on Mobad? You deliberately waited for a nurse who was in Kotonu to come after a day so that your game would have been accomplished. You used the nurse as a common flag so that they won't trace whatever you did to Mobad so that they will push everything to the nurse. That is why it is difficult for you to let out the address of the nurse because you people are holding the address of the nurse because if the nurse was actually the person that paid your husband ah we all know that you will not let the nurse go free you would have used your hand to buy the nurse even if it is the nurse that actually paid your husband because of the injection she gave to your husband we know for a fact now she won't be walking around thank you so much thank you i appreciate your gifts thank you that is a blunt lie you only made an arrangement for the nurse to come so that she can cover up your, your loopholes so that it will look as if the nurse was the one that injected more bad and that injection led to his spine but you and i know for a fact you did hit more bad when you did that mobat screamed you ran out of the room you came downstairs since spendy don't want to say the truth what he told us we need to let him know we know what he said spending take notes we have your recording if you think we don't have it we have it So let him stop saying all those nonsense. And I equally told you guys, I said spending did one thing. He equally lied. He never told us that there were two people in the house when he came from when they came from where um, Ikorodu. The reason why he brought out the narrative that there were two people in the house, they are trying to use an avenue to say there were two people in the house. And those two people that were in the house, they might have been the people who have a hand in the demise of Mobad. This yeah. girl is really wicked, Wumi. She don't have a heart. For her to do such a thing to her own husband, 
and yet she kept quiet. She refused to speak out. Even the nurse that came, she used the nurse so that she can cover up what she did. This girl is something else. And the one that's even paining me the most is that our judges, the judiciary, they are also on one side. Even the government are also on one side. How can they be siding on something that is wrong? The corona inquest that they are doing is just as if there is no impact at all. It's just as if they are going there to play. You will serve somebody in order to come to court. The person will not come. You will not do anything about it. Tomorrow, the person will not come. They will not do anything about it. What kind of judicial system do we have in Nigeria? These people, they are really something else. They are making Nigeria to look as if it's not a place for safe for anybody to stay. This whole thing is getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. This matter should be handled with care because everybody is just fighting for this justice for mobile. If not everybody, majority are fighting for justice for mobile. They want to know what by this young man. Because justice for one is justice for all. By the time we get justice and they find out that this, so this kind of thing happened and they were able to get justice, they will be scared to do such a thing to another person. But that is how it is. This life here, eh, people are so wicked. Guys, what do you think about this whole issue? Please drop your comments in the comment section of this video. And if you are just meeting my channel for the very first time, very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I upload any latest video. I will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And to my returning viewers, thank you very much for viewing my videos. Guys, don't forget to share this video and also give this video a super thumbs up. This is Life News Media, guys. I will see you in the next video.